Alright, welcome to another episode of 7 Axis. On this one, we're going to rebuild the front swivel hubs on my truck, my mate Johnny's truck, and we're going to do my brake upgrade. As well as if I have time, we're going to put in my two wheel, four wheel drive wiring loom. So, new rotors, pads, loom, and swivel hub kit. So, stay tuned and we'll get into building this and we'll see if we can get this thing into four wheel drive. All right, so as you can see, the swivel hubs are leaking pretty, pretty bad. So I figured rebuild them and then that way I'll do the brakes too. The brakes on this are absolutely horrid. So I figured some new pads and rotors uh, should help. I got them slotted and dimpled. So hopefully that'll help with the braking. Otherwise, after that, it's braided lines and we'll see how we go from there. So we'll take the wheels off and we'll start pulling this rotor apart and uh, the hub and everything and we'll rebuild it. Alright, so it doesn't look too bad in there. I don't have a lot of brake left. As you can see, it's probably due for a change anyways. So we'll... It's a bit greasy, isn't it? Probably explains why the brakes don't pull up. So we'll get into rebuilding this and uh, we'll go from there. Just worth noting, when you go to take your swivel hubs apart, make sure you that you have it on free. Because when you do take it apart, it'll all, all shoot off. So make sure that's on free, because it pulls it out, and then that way you won't lose anything. Yeah, it's nice and dirty in there. Look at that. Good stuff.
All right, so there we have it. I got the rotor off. Um, I'll clean that up and repack it, and then I'll start pulling this aside. So once I clean this up, we'll get back into this, and um, and we'll go from there. We'll see what the swivel hub looks like and all the seals and everything. But to me, that looks pretty shot. day two so I had to stop filming yesterday because it got cold and miserable and me and Johnny had just about had enough so we just wanted to smash it out and get the job done um, I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like underneath <coughs> as you can see it's a lot cleaner I got both sides done um, so the swivel hubs aren't leaking anymore also, you can see in there, I've got the rotors on and the new pads. So now, at this current point in time, I'm just running the loom for the two wheel, four wheel. So I've got the switch here in the dash, which I'll be putting in here. Um, I've already ran it through the dash, as you can see down there. Didn't want to waste your time showing that, so I'll... Um, I'll put this switch in and then we'll get under the car and we'll, we'll go about running it under the carpet through the chassis and into the box and then I'll run it to the power and everything that I, the power block that I have behind the, behind the glove box and we'll earth it out and, and it should be good to go then. So I'll finish cleaning up this switch and get it in and then we'll get under the car. Alright so I've run the loom out underneath the floor. You can see it there through a grommet and it's quite literally just got to come back to here there's two plugs one here one here on the module <clears throat> so pretty easy to route it as you can tell and um so i'll route that in and we'll uh we'll be good to go sorry Attack of the Wombat. Ruby! Attacking me. That's that one. Clicked in. Might have to clean that one out, I reckon. Maybe. Mm-hmm. 
And there goes that one. All right. Now that that's done, I'll, uh, sorry, I've been attacked by the wombat. I'll, uh, hook up the power of negative inside behind the glove box and that should be that done, hopefully. Alright. Alright, gonna wire it up to the power block. You can see the block just in there. And, uh, I've already got one of the screws out, but the terminal on the end's too big. So I'm just gonna recrimp that and, uh, put a new one on. Me the girl. Oh, hi, Chevy. Hey. Hey, Baba, you need a f my mouth. Oh, yeah. Yep, Daddy. Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to do something with this. I'm just going to put it right here for you to do. Alright. La 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 la. Shh. Alright, crimped a new one on, and now I'll try and get it in there, and we'll see if we can get that button down, hey? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, watch the concentration on my face. Yeah. You being psycho, Chevy? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, so I got that on there. We'll try and get that cover back on now. My wiring's still a mess behind here. Alright, so there's that. And now all I gotta do is run the earth and put the fuse back in. So there's an earth under there somewhere that I had. Well I'll put the earth on because it'll be a bit of mucking around trying to hold the camera at the same time it's gonna be hard. So I'll just wire that up and then uh, we'll put the fuse in and I'll put the camera underneath. We'll see if it actuates. Alright, so now that I've got it all wired up and put back together, can't even tell it's there. Got the switch. I've drawn four neutral and two. For some reason, it's got to be put back into neutral when you're not using it. So we'll uh, we'll see if this works, and uh, hopefully it does. I'll put this under the car, and we'll see if you can hear some noise. That seems to work, so I'll call that a win. Not bad for a weekend's work. Two swivel hubs, front brakes, and uh, and the two wheel, four wheel module done. So I'll leave it at that. And then uh, next time, hopefully, I should be doing braided brake lines. And I'm gonna change the, the booster and master over to an 80 series Land Cruiser. So stay tuned for the next truck episode where I'll be changing those items over. Alright guys, have a good week.